What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly how I clean my mirrors and lens on my stock K40 machine. Now these are stock mirrors um, with a, a, an upgraded lens. I think there's only really one lens that you can get without upgrading the head. Uh, cause it's 12mm diameter, the rest are 18mm to 32mm from what I can, I can tell. So I do this every few hours worth of engraving, I'd say every two or three hours worth of engraving and cutting. Um, I've put a picture up now of the second mirror. As you can see from the picture on the second mirror, uh, there is quite a few spots of dirt on there. Uh, we'll clean all that up and we will get it all nice and shiny and good to go. So let's get started. So a couple of things that we need to use are a piece of scrap wood some acetone, cotton bud. I generally only use one because it's only for the mirrors. For the lens I have a cleaning cloth that um, works really well. I do use that cleaning cloth to dry the mirrors afterwards as well. So it's quite simple to do the way I do it. So I'll start with the back mirror. It's a bit difficult for you to see. It's probably even more difficult for me to see with the camera here now. So I just get a little bit of acetone on there, I'll move it out of the way so I don't knock it everywhere. Move this one out of the way. And then I come in and I just swab the mirror nice and gently. I start with this mirror because it's generally not that bad. It's usually the cleanest one because not a lot of smoke and debris can get in there. As you can see, that's, that's pretty clean on there. Can you see that? Yeah, cool. So with that still wet from the back mirror and it's clean, I just then move on to the second mirror. And again, just nice and gently in a circular motion, just give it a nice wipe and check it over to make sure you are getting those little bits and pieces off. If it needs a bit of a scrub, try and use the end because you can get a little bit more leverage on there. But don't press too hard because then you're going to mess up your alignment. You've got a tendency to possibly crack the mirror. But nice and gently, move yourself around on different angles so you can see. And that is pretty clean. I'll get a picture of that once we're done. Um, again, on there, there's not that much on there but you could I could see it on the lens so we cleaned it so then we'll take the other side this time we'll dip it in a bit of acetone again this is a bit more difficult especially with a stock head and then you just go for the last mirror with a stock head it's really rough and it does pull some of the cotton off so just be nice and gentle and try not to hit the edges that much. So once you're inside you do get a lot more area to be able to clean. And with that one, that was a, the nice clean one that I haven't touched. Most of that dirt has come from the actual laser head, not the mirror. So the, the housing on the outside here, not the mirror. because most of the smoke comes around this area so the next thing get a marker pen and on this head mark your alignment in a couple of places I've been meaning to do this the past few times that I've cleaned this head because when I line it back up sometimes you get a a dot and then a crescent moon around it I don't actually have piece of scrap that I've tested on but that's because um, with this stock head you can't adjust where the mirror is aligned so it, whether it's point straight down vertical or not uh, so as soon as I can I will be upgrading that head I just use an elastic band to tie my air assist on there as well which again when I get an upgraded head that won't be happening so, 
when you're removing this, just try and keep hold of the sides. And there's the lens. It seems fairly clean, but we'll just make sure we've got it super clean. So with a cloth, just drop that on there. Oh, I'm getting wind blowing back down my uh, extractor. It's quite windy outside. So we'll get our acetone again. And I know I said I wasn't going to use a cotton bud, but it's all clean on both sides. So I will just put a touch on there. You can use gloves to do this, but as long as you're only touching the side, you won't have much of an issue. You just don't touch the top and bottom of the lens, especially after you've cleaned it, because you're going to leave grease on there, and that's going to just end up a bad day. Like I say, it's probably not the correct way, and probably not the best way, but it's the way I do it. It's nice and quick. It takes five minutes or so, and we're done. And when you are putting the lens back in, you've got a a uh, convex side and a flat side. You want the convex side pointing upwards. So that is pointing up. It's, it's sometimes it's hard to tell, but you gently drop that in there because you don't want any scratches on it. So that is super clean. And then we put it back on. careful, this is the most fiddly part of the whole thing, to not touch that lens, so I take extra special care to only have my fingers on the edge, and there, those three line up pretty straight, slightly off, it's probably my mark on this front side, but that one's straight. And that one's straight. So now we test. Turn the machine on. I should probably put my air assist back on, but I'm going to test it first. Bring it back over and across. Make sure you've got your goggles on. Turn the power up to around half so you get a decent burn line on there. Uh, hit the test switch and leave it again test switch and then we'll do all four corners as well test switch it's okay what we're looking for I, I know I'm out of focus now uh, out of the shot what I'm looking for when I'm hitting the test switch is any of the uh, the crescent shape around the, uh, the dot which that seems pretty much spot on uh, can't really tell if you can see this on the camera but these dots here are the tests from up the top and then two are from down the bottom and they are nice clean crisp dots and that's what you're looking for in there so that's it that's all set up I can put my air assist back on there and yeah uh, if I wasn't chatting away and I wasn't trying to give you some tips and show you how to do it and trying not to get in the shot of the camera that takes five minutes and you don't have to mess about with any alignment uh, or anything like that. So that is my quick way of cleaning the mirrors. I hope you learnt something. I hope it can help speed up the process for some other people. And I'm probably going to get some flaming comments in the comment section about how I'm doing it completely wrong. But this has been working well for me for the past three months. I've not had any issues. So I'm going to carry on doing it until I do get some issues. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.